history at mm -hmm. switching players from offense to defense? Uh, we've done a little bit of it, not a lot, mm -hmm. but, but a little bit. You know, if, you, if, if you've got a talented kid, then your job is to try to get him on the field to help the team, whether it be switching from defense to offense or offense to defense or, or finding a way for him on special teams. And, um, uh, you know, that's happened a few times in my career. And on the Arkansas, because they're going to kind of have a Big Ten right. offensive mentality, mm -hmm. I'm sure you're going to have fun with that. Old, old, old times for you there. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, <clears throat> you know, the, the, uh, our league is becoming very diversified in the attacks, which we knew um, that you're going to see week in and week out from from spread. You know, big boy football is spread back to big boy football this week. So, um, you know, it'll be another challenge for our guys, especially our young guys. Mark, what can you tell us about how Raven's progressing? Uh, he looks good in street clothes. Yeah, no, man, he's pretty good about he's, it. He's, he's, he's pretty chipper on the sidelines, too. He's keeping guys alive down there, keeping me alive down there you know, during the game. Uh, you know, going back to your point a minute ago, you know, we moved Floyd last year because he was on the bench mm -hmm. uh, to that outside linebacker position that Nate's playing right now to try to get Floyd onto the field a little bit last year. Um, to, to go back to your question. But I don't think I don't know. I really don't. Um, I know we won't be there this week, that's all I know. <laughs> You know, I hope getting back here in a few weeks. Mark, can you tell us where Ennis is? I mean, obviously missing a couple of games and the spread, we couldn't tell. But can you tell us how he's graded? Of course, the current Arkansas comes up. He's doing, I mean, he, he's doing a really well game. Uh, he's doing, he's playing really well. He's leading. Um, you know, I challenged him this week to get back to the question about Isaiah. I, I told Kirby yesterday in our meeting, I said, you're not coming out of the game this week, son. You're playing the entire game. I want to see this pat on the head. Because we need him um, to play like he's been playing. You know, he's one guy that was overlooked in our game against Alabama. You know, I mean, he played well in that game. Uh, some of our other ones didn't, but he did. And, and we need him to do that this week. He is an important part of what we're going to do. And that's why Isaiah may not see the field. He may get a blow or two, but going into the game, I've challenged Kirby to play every snap. All four of those guys: Kirby, Alonzo. Julian and uh, uh, Gavin. Alexis. Coach, getting back to asking you, a lot of times you see guys switch and kind of disappear, right? You kind of guys have personality that you figure that you, put, you get what you did with asking because of his personality or his athleticism or? Well, I mean, you know, I think it was Nate's kind of game because it was a space kind of game, uh, you know. This is going to be a new challenge for him. Uh, what he's shown against our offense when we get in these type of situations, some of our drills, and he's going against Cameron Clear and uh, those tight ends, he's done pretty well. And uh, so he's going to get a shot because uh, these tight ends are pretty good that we're going to go against. And uh, give him a shot and see what he can do. Like most about the way Kennedy is playing right now? He's really catching the ball with him. You know, he's giving Johnny a second option that. He doesn't always have to go to Mike Edwards. You know, he has another guy he can depend on. So, um, Malcolm made big catches for us on last year, so we, we always knew he could do it. And then, um, Coach someone was talking about his offseason, how hard he worked. Did you see that? Yeah. You know, he, he knew we were losing three starters, and this was an opportunity for him to step up and be a leader on, on this team. So he really had a, a great offseason. You were game on the right side? He's to, obviously, Arkansas, what they do well, that edge pass rush with Smith and Flowers, but Johnny has always seemed to elude that really well. It's going to be an interesting challenge. He just kind of takes it up. Yeah, uh, their front is really good. You know, they really get after the passer. Um, it's going to be a challenge for our line to uh, keep those guys off of Johnny. But, you know, it, it, for Johnny, it's a challenge, you know, that, that he embraces, you know, guys running, running after him and chasing him until he, he uh, enjoys that moment. Talking about John, and y'all seem to be running more on round call running plays, the um, quarterback counters, and the quarterback options. Now, y'all don't do so much zone read, so we'll talk about the philosophy there on having Johnny run those, those kind of plays. Um, as you know, he, he's pretty good at running the ball, so. He what gets, he does, yeah. yeah, so we're just trying to use his, his talents and uh, he can throw it as well as run it, and we're trying to, you know, make our offense multi-dimensional. Left side down. Coach, you 
Coach, I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about the, the two newcomers you got on the offensive line, Mike and Jermaine. Uh, they've been pretty quiet so far until a little bit this week. So uh, how's their progress in four games? Um, through the four games, you know, they've played like we've expected them to play. Um, you would think, you know, after having played in a game like Alabama, we wouldn't have the errors that we did on last week against SMU. But those guys are first year starters. You know, Jermaine didn't play at all last year. Uh, so there, there are going to be some errors there. And um, they just have to clean it up and, and get caught up to speed with the other three guys.